Rev armor is what everybody is gunning for. Quite literally, Rev plus guns equals an absolutely broken build. And for those who actually use it, don't be offended. I use it as well. But everyone just wants to be the best. And that's like one of the best metas right now. But what if we stray away from that and move into something that's a little bit different from the current meta? What if we use like wind or in this case, thunder? This right here is what I like to call the Thundering Bomber Fist, also known as the right click equals tons of damage, and that's exactly what it does, alright? It's similar to the gun build, but you don't need to use blasters, and it does quite a bit more damage in general. And just like my previous video, I will get into everything you'll need to know for this build and showcase how it performs afterwards. So let's go through the customization of your weapon first. Of course, since this is an exploding build, just like the previous video, you'll be needing the Bomber Gloves, which if you already don't know, will proc any explosive explosion randomly so use the trailer in the description if you need to know the guidelines for anything in this video and then for your essence you'll be needing the stratos variant essence which can be obtained through the stratos boss battle or bimble for those cultured men in the discord but you're not finished take that stratos essence and upgrade it with sp to the lightning stratos essence this will allow you to scale off your air boost and magic boost making your m1s and m2s also shoot lightning with a similar range of the blasters now let's Let's hop on to the armor. In total, you'll be needing the Wind Spirit set with Windy Enchant on top of it, plus a Steam Golem armor piece, a Gale armor piece, and a Cinder Soul armor piece. First of all, let's go through the Windy Wind Spirit set. In order to get this, you have to follow my character into the forest and buy these items right here in the tiny corner of the map, all right? They're very well hidden, but it said it on the trello, so I just completely followed it. It's very easy. But obtain each piece, and in total, you'll receive 192% air boost if you enchant it with Windy. So I found this out while just scrolling through the trailer, I realized that one armor actually gave 30%, which was insane, all right? And that's the reason why you choose this armor. But also, the perk is very useful. Spirit Winds converts a percentage of your air boost into magic damage, which scales with the Bomber Gloves and the Lightning Stratos Essence greatly. So you'll, you'll be doing not only holy, air, but also magic. And for the other three armor pieces, you'll infuse them into the required spots. So for my set, I have the Steam Golem Pants, which will increase my overall air scaling with the perk on all types of damage but will have a chance to light me on fire so in order to counteract this we actually have a cinder soul armor piece which gives us the ability to heal while burning and i actually got this part of the build the steam golem and the cinder soul from the youtuber on the screen right here so shout out to them they were very useful they're amazing at making builds all right they don't usually go monk but anything they make is insane so respect but for the rest i wanted to optimize it to monk so everything else is completely original and i hope this is original unless somebody else hosts it quicker than I do but let's finally get into the last piece of armor which is the gale armor which gives me an ability to scale air boost into crit chance and it's very useful for explosion scaling because like I said before explosion scales it from times two to times three of your normal m1s and apply that with crit great damage right there and like I said earlier if you guys don't know how to get all these armor pieces I'll always leave the trailer in the description so you can check that out now to finally finish this set off get yourself a lucky ring and a launch Room. The lucky ring can be obtained by trading your opening brilliant presence and the launch rune can be obtained through the same route trading but in this time defeating Stratos or Stratos. But let's quickly look over what these two do before showcasing the performance of the build. So the lucky ring greatly increases the chances of any any proccing effect or ability on M1s or moves meaning that explosions will have a higher chance of exploding with the ring than with something like the blasters because it replaces it while the launch rune is simply there for extra air boost that can be further exploited by enchanting it with either windy or vampire now the reason why i say vampiric or vampiric rune is because you will take damage from the weapon art that you choose which is the lightning cloak so keep yourself at a sustaining rate but for this build i just chose completely air because i wanted to see how much damage i did so keep that in mind but with all that being said here's the build in action
Alright, so for my final review of this build, I will say that it's not the best damaging build out there. If you're looking for a damage build, then this might not be it for you. Of course, the DPS is still very good. It could reach to tops of around 700 in one right click because it's all RNG. But with the Lucky Ring, that makes that even better. So your, your DPS is around 200 to 300 every time you right click. And the normal DPS is around 100 to 200 every time you M1, which is not too bad. It's very good because you have the range. And with builds who are up close that use dexterity, and use all that type of stuff without blaster it, it definitely makes up for the fact that it doesn't do as much as them because you could keep your distance but overall this build is very good for clearing it has that chain it has that explosion it has that nice range like i said earlier plus you gotta remember that my build right now this one this is the original windy build this is not optimized this is not optimized minimize maximize i forgot the word again but it's it's not optimized to its fullest potential you can maybe put some steam golden pants on or like a steam golden helmet on or maybe the full gale wanderer set because this has the flowing crits because of course crits will grow great will go great with the explosions since you don't really need that much m1 damage if you already have the lucky ring and it's proccing the explosion every one or two hits since that's times two or times three your damage right increase your crit chance and then boom you do immense damage but now for the cons of this build uh, it's a bit expensive because uh, the lucky ring has a brilliant oh has a brilliant value to it so if you can't get a brilliant in the frog dungeon and get a pre uh, get a present and then get a ring from that and then if you can't get a brilliant and can't trade with other people this might be pretty hard to obtain but if you do get it it's not too hard everything else is fairly easy to get except for probably like the the steam golden pants you could it's a, it's a little expensive so you, you could probably replace in the fusions maybe a full gale set for that increase increased crit or you could go for the wind champion and then get the wind ring if you don't have the lucky one so you could have tailgate and that multiplies your crit chance by i don't even know the factor but it's a lot so wind champion wind um wander or gale wander or like a full set of steam golem you, just test things out because air is very very good i will tell you that air will probably become the next meta once become dexterity once dexterity gets nerfed because most definitely dexterity will get nerfed in the next update because gunner build the the great sword builds all those rev builds are overpowered as hell but if they don't i guess it'll stay you know over op but anyways that's my last statement for this build what do you guys think if you want to test it out go ahead if you don't whatever there's there's other builds on the internet and Rocks of Blade is all about making your builds and making it as fun as possible. For me, since I already made my dexterity build and I have all the things I need, might as well make some fun builds here and there that most likely won't get nerfed in the future. But anyways, that's it and I hope you enjoyed.